Previously in Brothers in Arms. Before he died, my dad told me every soldier has two families. Those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I never asked to be squad leader. Baker! Stand in the door! But I had no choice. I can't remember the last time my dreams weren't about everything that happened in Normandy. When it was good. So you're saying I couldn't hawk this in England? Alan, it says to Matthew on the side. So? There's probably loads of Matthews in England. Matthews who want a gaudy silver pistol. Let me see it. Holy hell, this gun weighs a ton. You could put a hole in Superman with this. Nothing could put a hole in Superman. That thing could. Dreams I can't forget. Beh. Beh. Oh, sorry. Legged, what happened? The truth tore him apart. You want me? But he kept it to the end of the mission. Take me! And to the end of his life. There were heroes born. We wait for the smoke to build. If it screams, shoot it. If it screams in German, shoot it again. There were things that happened after our victory in Normandy. There were things that happened way before. Mom said I can't keep this. Sorry, Dad. So much had happened. Keep up the fire, and we don't die here! So much had happened. You think you'll get all the credit again? <laughs> Definitely. Anybody get hit on the line? What do you know about Leggett? Yes. No. No one got hit. Damn miracle. So much had happened, and we were just getting started.
He's gone. Matt, he's gone. We have to go. Let's move, Matt. Follow me. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain or his heart? My dad asked me that question at the age of seven when I was at the breakfast table. I remember it vividly because he never told me the goddamn answer. He was the smartest man I ever knew, but I always felt like a bastard when I was around him. Look 18. You don't. I know, yeah. Hey, you think you could talk to Corian for me? Sam, what for? He seems to have it in for me. I'll see what I can do, Frank. Don't worry about it. You paint that yourself, Beans? Don't call me Beans. So, you're saying you don't know bollocks about the pistol? Nothing to tell, Doss. Just a bunch of crap the guys made up. Would you hold it? People died there, man. Don't go digging where there's already holes. You didn't answer my question, Cortland. Hey, Corian, are we still in the range at 1300? Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute, Jack. He's too young. <laughs> it's a bit of a gray area, Sam. But he's a standout if I've ever seen one. Excellent shot. The kid hit a quarter at 50 yards. A quarter. But he has no combat experience at all. Everybody got replacements. But we got a good one. Okay, I'll vouch for Frankie personally. I hope you're right. I need you to find some paint, Jess. Sure. I'll steal some paint for you, Sergeant. Requisition. Private. What are we painting? We're the tip of the spear, Jess. We need to look sharp when we go in. Wilco! Why would you say that? He's right there. Step back, Mussolini. Ain't nobody talking to you. I swear to God, Paddock, I've had it with that shit. What the hell is going on in here? Well, Paddock said some stuff that made him sound like a real dick. I see one goddamn bruise on any of you. It'll be KP and latrines for a week. I know this is getting frustrating. I know we all want to jump to it. Just know it ain't that simple. Maybe it should be. Maybe you should bring that up with General Montgomery. Got it, Ben? Plan's the same, guys. We punch through the German line, punch straight into Berlin, punch Hitler in the face, win the war, and be home by Christmas. Hey, Paddock. What you want, small fry? Here's the thought. If you're gonna cheat, make sure you don't use two queen of spades. Oh, you son of a bitch, Paddock. Hey, Jazz! Yeah, Red! You get that paint I asked for? We'll go! Is Max still trailing around with Cole? Well, 
He made a first sergeant. Anyone else a little weirded out by that? It's like seeing your old boss or something. Corland. Matt kept us alive through shit no one should live through. We owe him a lot. You don't want to know what I had to do to get this. You sure this is okay, Red? Well, we all picked radio call signs. This will help us keep the jeep straight. And crush the Germans with our scary zoo animals. Scheiße! Ein Zebra! The zebra is a fierce hey, animal. Hey, swordfishes are plenty tough. This one time, my friend Nathan got speared through his hand with its... Is it a beak? Wait, what was the other one? Toucan. Hey, well, peck your damn eyes out, man. All right, all right. Guys, I don't do speeches. That was always Max's thing, but... But tomorrow, we're heading into Holland and opening up a goddamn highway. So hit the mess and then get some sleep. It'll be the last we get of either for a long damn while. Is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain or his heart? Move, move, get the Jeep out now. We have a link up to get to. We have a two-fold objective here. Secure the landing site for the incoming gliders. That's you, Sam, and Xano, too. And we have to get a report from Nick somebody. He's Dutch Resistance, near a farmhouse somewhere around here. Is it that farmhouse? Yeah, that's it. That's me, Jasper, and Connor. We'll bring the MG. Hop to it. Hello, I, I am Nicholas, and I will try to be of help. Here, I have prepared a map. It is not a lot, but I managed to find some German positions. Quick, we haven't much Whoa. time. He speaks good English. Um, yeah, yes, I do. We must be very careful. There are Germans on the other side of that wall. Now, I must get back to my son Peter. He wants to run away and fight very badly, and if I don't return home soon, I'm afraid he will do exactly that. Good luck, Sergeant Baker. put you guys on recon. Can't say I figured you'd be waiting in our DC. Sir, a few of these men Baker. fought it. Yeah, I remember. I'm not great with names, but I certainly heard yours enough after D-Day. I could use a favor if y'all are up to it. Division has a whole mess of gliders coming into the south. I already radioed one of your jeeps to meet you In Holland, the hordes still meet. Get out of my fucking way. Sorry, sir. We're ready to move out whenever you are, Sergeant. How solid is our intel? Do we know for sure there will be Germans attacking the gliders? Seems like a foolish move. We don't know for sure, that's why it's called recon. 
Oh yes, I'm quite aware of the ramifications. We protect the brass by dying first, I understand. The gospel according to Holden. We managed to get all of our stuff together after we linked up with Sink. He, uh, Tell him about the ordered Jeep. us to follow him to Sun with the 506. When we crashed, my Jeep took a beating. He hit a tree! Well, it wasn't steering right at the time. Oh no! A conspicuously placed tree that could be a German in disguise. Take cover, men. I'll save us! Let's get moving, guys! Sam Corian worked at a textile mill in Augusta, Georgia before the war. I've never known him to complain or question an order I've given him. There's something wrong, though. It's there in his eyes. He's been passed up for promotion to sergeant three times now. And I don't believe he'll abide by a fourth. Hell, he'd lead the whole damn army if he could. That bastard's been hitting us with 88 fire for a few minutes now. Who, sir? German commander named Auckland. They've been firing at the woods to get us in the open. He doesn't give a damn right, about squad, the civilians, so you boys here. are gonna find that 88 go, and destroy it. And rally at the Somme Bridge. Wilco, sir! Jasper, bring up the bazooka! Frankie! Get up here! What? It's for good luck! Let's go! Belong to a friend of mine! Saved my ass! I'll take Jasper and the bazooka with the fire team towards the outskirts of town. I'll take second squad and Zanovich to the streets. We'll give you cover when we can. Zanovich, you're going red! Roger! This isn't gonna hold for long. Once we make it to the bridge, Sink shouldn't be too far behind. Let's move! My English is not good. Thank you. I give you these. Take, take. Hot damn. Check it out, Corian. Free cigars. I'll take a couple. And not even old enough to smoke them. I don't think they even realize this battle ain't over yet. Oh, they realize. That's why they're thanking us, Frankie. This isn't safe, Frankie. Oh, lighten up, Corian. It's just a... Hang on! Now, Frankie! We can help him! When I give you an order, you follow! Yeah, I'm sure the nine seconds I was spending to make him comfortable before he died was a huge loss! We don't have time for your shit! I think. 
More time on your back than Paddock's sister. Fuck you, Red! Son of a bitch! Get across that river and take that 88 and secure the goddamn area! Parker, get Captain Wilder on the line and tell him 30 Get across, ain't across, across that river! Use the debris as cover! Getting back across the river. What do he say? Dunno. My ears are still ringing. How the Sam hell you getting back across the river? Okay, that time I definitely heard liver. Maybe he's drunk. We'll just swim back across the liver, sir. Okay. Over here! Are you okay? Mate, you okay? Do you need a doctor? No. I I'm not shot or anything. Well, what's your story then? Who are you? Pathfinder with a 502. English bastard of a rich father and a poor mother. Huh. Take your pick, really. What's your name? Kevin. Tell me, Kevin. Do you believe in fate? That there's something we're all supposed to do in this life before we die? Leggett, don't ever tell anyone what you just told me. Why? Because they'll kill you. Can I tell you a secret? You want some coffee, Baker? Hey, Mac needs to talk to you. What about you, Frankie? You believe in fate? No. Oh. Not this shit again. I'm getting some of that coffee. I'm serious. Damn, I don't know, Doss. Some people get shot, some people don't. Don't seem to make shit. Just ask sense. yourself, honestly. Could I lug around and fire a 20-pound gun all day? You live in a fantasy world. Is it nice there? I'm carrying a goddamn bazooka. Everything okay? Who's that? It's Lieutenant Colonel Cole, Matt. What? How? What? There's crowds everywhere! White one! We need support now, goddammit! This is kick off blue! There's Jerry all over! We need support now! We got MJ, Mortars, Artie, every goddamn thing Go firing on. at us! I don't give a shit what bullshit they're giving you! Whatever press you got left, you use it to scream into that goddamn radio! And keep your head down! This is kick off blue! Can anyone hear me? Doran, keep your goddamn head down! Bob? Bob!
When our plane started strafing us, he ran a few men into the field to lay panels. He was behind the other men and just... Well, he was straightening the panels. Why would he... Matt, I have no idea. He did that a couple of times and then... Then there was a crack. We never found the sniper. Just the tally he left behind on the windowsill. I mean, he was there and then he wasn't. Just doesn't make any goddamn sense. It never does. Oh, should I go get a ruler? My money's on Roselli. Red. I need to talk to you for a second. This is a terrible loss, Sergeant. Did you get the bastard? Sir? Yes, Sergeant? Did you get word from Division yet about where recon is going? Well, my guess is you'll want to tell him yourself, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I'd like that very much, sir. Why would he do that? Why would he do something so goddamn reckless? He saved a lot of lives, Red. And now how many will die because he isn't around to lead them? It's not about one battle, man. Would you prefer he was still around with nothing to lead instead? What's the life of one officer worth to you? Twenty men? Forty? You know damn well I value- Everything all right here? Just talking. What do you need? Division has ordered your men to Eindhoven to rendezvous with Sink in the 506. You'll be linking up with 30 Corps. Good luck. That it? If you want my advice, and that's rhetorical, keep the war out there. I don't care how much dirt I've swallowed in the last two days. These jeeps beat the hell out of walking everywhere. When do I get to drive? When the army hands out tractors. <laughs> I need you ladies to drive those jeeps around the back of the 88. It's just down the road. Cut through the fields and set up an OP in the church. We'll catch them with their pants down. Don't let your guard down. They might hit us any second. Okay. Yeah. Just got punched. Oh, hurts. That was him. That bastard shot Cole. Let's get back to the guys. I've been looking for Americans. Oh, it's you. Your face was in better shape when we last met. Well, there are two of those large cannons located nearby. I also spotted an ammunition dump and a fuel station. I drew a map for whoever I could find. Spread out. Check your weapons. Open fire! It's, it's my son Peter. I, I cannot locate him. I'm very worried. He, he followed me a, a, and I lost him. It's my fault entirely. I, I gave him my gun for protection, uh, not to, 
revenge shirt. And then he pulled out one of those Hitler youth knives and tried to shank me with it. So what happened to the knife then? Where to now? Did you see a kid? What? I just saw Nick. He said he lost his kid around here somewhere. What's it like for Red to be here? God. Seeing Nick's face. The face of a man who just lost his son. There's some questions you can never ask your friends. What was it like to kiss your pregnant wife goodbye and get in that cab? How does it feel to miss your daughter's first two birthdays? And what if you die before the third one? Fall in for a sec, guys. Okay, this is the map that Shoemaker wrote on. It shows an industrial area we have to clear for 30 core to get through. Wilder said the crowds are spread out all over. What's on the red? Ah, son of a bitch! What are they doing? They're thanking you. You're welcome! The red scribbling is the German positions he did find. They may still be accurate. Wilder also said the forward observer for 30 core is moving to our position. So we'll have tank support. And let's see if we can't find that kid! What's the story with this one kid? I mean, are we supposed to find him? We're supposed to do our job. Yeah, but he's just a kid. Our Hugh Baker! Ah, the name's Redwood. Well, I had to help you get through this shy hole. But I'm smoking to be safer from you boys than it's hurting. Unfortunately, but don't get me killed. You can take this to make sure to hop it away. This change is like the right competitor, your yank Tommy. Probably waiting at the top. I know. Oh god, we're really stupid. I know!
one! Just what I wanted, more targets to shoot! Move, I can't get a shot off! Okay, I'm not gonna hurt you, son. Ik heb nog één kogel en die gebruik ik als het moet. I just want to take you to your dad. I ik schiet hoor. I ik ken jou I niet. I know Nicholas. Again, Bink? I've never kissed a girl before. Well, I guess my, my mom or something. Uh, she don't count. Oh, she counts. Have you seen the pictures? There's pictures? <laughs> don't let them mess with you, Frankie. I didn't kiss a dame till I was 17. The guys told me you're asking around about stuff that happened after D-Day. Stuff about Leggett. It was about anyone who touched that pistol. They all died. For some reason, it doesn't seem to strike anyone else as extraordinarily odd. It does. They lost friends in what you're poking at. It's not easy to talk about. Why is it so easy for you? Because I believe every damn word of it. Yeah, we're kind of like the big shots in the 101st. We save people's asses, and you can't understand a word I'm saying, can you? All right, lover boy, we gotta keep moving. I'll come back for you! Well, we made the link up with 30 Core and did our part. You think we'll get home on time? According to Montgomery, 30 Core ain't two days late, which they are. What's your hurry, Red? I'd like to meet my daughter before she turns three. Zanovich took Cortland and Frankie out on patrol around the perimeter. I hope to God those kraut wankers leave us alone for tonight. You certainly have a specific way of talking, I'll give you that. Is that THE gun? Yeah, I had to use it in Eindhoven. The kid almost shot me. He doesn't understand any of this. Do you? Excuse me? Understand this? That? You buy into that shit? You don't purchase faith. 
Those men died holding a pistol you refused to take because, as some pointed out, you were too afraid. I mean, forgive me for not believing it's all random chance. It was my father's. That's why I didn't want it. Yeah, who also died holding it. What are you trying to prove, Dawson? That you're hiding something. talk to someone who would disagree with you. What? Hey, did you hear that? Save this one. Don't. Let me save this one. Just one. It's Marsh. I came out of nowhere. Gunfire from a burning building. I wouldn't know what it was. Like a series of pops. How did Paddock know? How could Paddock have possibly known this? There's too many to help. Red, it's okay. Red, look at me. It's okay. We're gonna help them. Red! I, I found him under part of a wall. What happened to him? Me and Fryer were by their house, just checking on them. The building next to it collapsed on top of it, just collapsed like that. Where's Nicholas? Where's his dad? Haddock, where? He, he's dead, Baker. Peter, you can hear me, Peter. You can hear me because you're gonna be all right. Matt, we gotta go. Peter, please. He's dead, Matt. Look at me. There's a thousand people that need our help right now. We know there's Germans scattered everywhere. You are going to have to cover us. Can you do that?
Son, don't do this. You know, I didn't think it'd be like this. I feel... I felt like if I just saved one person, it was good I came. I, uh, found her. We got stuck in here, so I sent her off before the crowds could get at us. Frank! Slow down. I gotta tell you something. Don't. Don't be my dad right now. Go back. Just go back and let me save her. Please. <laughs> sorry, Sarge. Don't be sorry. You did good. Did she? <clears throat> did she get out okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Liar. He's gone. Matt, he's gone. We have to go. Look at me. Let's move, Matt. Follow me. There's no one there, Matt. He didn't know. Thought he was doing the right thing. We would be better men to respect that. Yeah, but I still died. Yeah. He did. They got him. He was always so damn spry. He took a bunch of them with him. Was it quick, at least? Not especially. Sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to. Uh... Sorry. Jeep feels emptier, you know. Stop the Jeep. What? Stop the goddamn Jeep! Now what? Looks like Dawson had to piss. On a... British guy? Where did you nick it from? What? Mate, I really suggest you don't do that again. Where? Eindhoven! 
I didn't think anyone would want it back. You were wrong. Mike, what the hell are you doing? You know, for a few minutes, I actually believed in your shit, Baker. What the hell is wrong with you? It's just a random Brit in an American jacket. Would you calm down? Does this look random to you? Why did you let Jasper write that on the hood? It was funny at the time. What about now? Has its <clears throat> moments. The shifter gets stuck one more time and I'm gonna put the bitch out of her misery. We're leaving. Are you turning your back to me? In case you forgot, Nancy Drew, we're not solving a fucking mystery here. We need to get to Odin Road. So Mosh and that new kid were the only casualties? Yeah, so far. Can I speak freely? <laughs> Son, in case you ain't noticed, this ain't exactly headquarters. No need to be so polite. Speak away. It's Baker. Something's not right with him. What do you mean? Don't tell him I told you any of this. But he was seeing stuff that wasn't there. He takes it all so hard, you know? When men die. And how do you take it? Nothing good was ever free. Move, Friar! I'm just gonna drop a couple through the block and be on my merry little way. Panic! You are not shooting the chief! I think everyone needs to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Wait, what should we do about Baker? Well, I guess you're gonna have to talk to him, Red. You never told me anything, remember? How's your hand? <laughs> now that's funny coming from you. Ow! What the hell was that for? Doesn't feel like very long ago, does it? I don't really notice it much, to be honest. It seems a mite selfish to get all worked up over losing a finger. Where'd you put your wedding band? I keep it around my neck. Ermit sent me back here on my hands and knees if I lost the damn thing. I want five minutes with General Taylor to voice how little I like driving in columns like this. Zeno! What? Might as well be on parade, we're so easy to pick off. We're stuck in traffic. In a war. I'm just saying, five minutes and we don't get stalled out every time something gets broken. Rendezvous is at checkpoint 18. I think it's a cafe. Meet me there. Don't be late. I'm making it easy to find him. Thank you for giving us a hand getting up the road. Good enough to eat. Oh, Matt. I need to, uh, say something to you. About... We should do this in private. The men need to know what's going on. What's going on? Matt, you gotta admit, what happened in the hospital was... You were dry firing at a wall. It wasn't exactly... You were. So you're, like, crazy or bonkers or something? No, I'm fine. It was one thing, Red. Matt, I found you stumbling around a hospital. I was looking for Frankie! Maybe if you were in control of your men, instead of always trying to be their best friend, they wouldn't need finding.
Baker! Oh, fuck. Baker, your face! We're getting you out of here! Red. Arthur, I... Don't talk! Put him down! Put him down here! Is he okay? Just put him down! Look at me, Clark. Come on, man. You're tougher than this. Look at me! How bad? He, he ain't breathing air over. Red, I, I know you can hear me, Red. I, ne I need you to breathe for me. Red, you can breathe. You just gotta try. Corian. He's not dead! Don't fucking say it! Breathe, God damn it, Red! You gotta breathe! Sam, we can't do anything more! We gotta move! No! Come on. Come on! Come on, Joe! I said come on, Red! We need to load up and get back to an aid station. We're too banged up to do anything but hurt ourselves worse. Put Fryer in the back of the- I got it. Sorry. How capable are you right now? Enough. I've demanded over and over. Take me. Frankie was just a kid. I told you to stop calling me that. And Red? I don't even know if he's gonna make it. God damn it, you can't have him. Another demand you can't possibly back up. You can't. Are you Baker? Yes, sir. I need a quick moment of your time, son. The aid station made it clear Sergeant Hartsock ain't coming back. Hadn't been an easy few days, so I wanted to speak to you in person. I understand. Son, I'm here on behalf of Captain Wilder. Wouldn't ask, but it's important we keep recon on the move. Time is essential here. Normally I wouldn't do this, but you know these men better than anyone. Yes, sir, I do. Who's the right man to take command of 2nd Squad? Corporal Paddock, sir. Are you sure, son? I'm sure, sir. Well, I'll notify him of the promotion. You boys are doing good work. So that's it. Sam... What? Tell me... What I haven't done for you, Matt. Tell, tell me one order I haven't followed to the letter. It's not about that. Then what? Stand down, Sam. Stand down. Stand down. We were corporals together, Matt. And I guess none of that means shit Corporal. to you. What? It's my job to keep you alive. You follow orders or you die. Those are your words. I heard you say them to Frankie right to his face, and he died in my fucking arms because you couldn't make him understand. Anyone heard any news on Red? You know if he's gonna be okay or not? I pulled Doc Gideon aside when I saw him. He just said Red was alive. Couldn't get much more out of him than that. We'll try to see him when we get near Uden again. Where there'll be no- Mortars! Incoming! What's the road? Is everyone all right? We're good. Check the other jeep. Corian's down! Take cover!
This looks familiar. Here now! How long has he been out? Uh, ten minutes, I think. Let's get him inside. We're moving out again. Back down Hell's Highway through Vagel. Keep walking. I know about Kevin. I don't know a Kevin. Private Kevin Leggett? I met him outside Carrington. Seemed awfully distraught about something. He opened up quite quickly about what that something was. What do you want? Exactly what I tried to tell you before, Matthew. That you've been hiding something about those dead soldiers. And Alan and, um, oh, I forget the other chap's name. Garnett. That's the guy, yeah. You tell them, or I will. It's your choice, mate. Good to see you back in action, Paddock. Is there something troubling you? Besides the obvious, of course? At the poker game in England, when we were in that fight, I said some shit. I was just trying to point out if we went in as is, Martian Fryer were gonna bite it. Everybody got four colors of pissed about it. I was just trying to help point out a, a hole in our unit. I didn't mean to say it so cruel. God, feels like I killed him myself. Are you looking for absolution? Does that mean forgiveness? I don't believe we are the ones you need forgiveness from. I think you should talk to Campbell. He still can't talk. But he can listen. something else. Something I've been holding on to for a long time. And you're not gonna like it. What is it? I'm so sorry. Leggett, what happened? This is stupid. We should head back. Which way is back at this point? The direction your back is facing? Max said, Jesus, Legs! Are you and Mac married? Do you share a cottage in the oh, summer? Oh, here it comes. Everyone gather around for some macho bullshit. Uh, guys! You know what your problem is, Leggett? You! It's you! My problem is you! No, it's you! Would you two shut the hell you up! You can't deal with people! Everyone hates you! Everyone hates me, Alan? Wake up! They hate you too! The guys talk about you behind your back all the time, even Garnett! Look it! Shut up! There's Germans everywhere! I don't give a shit! Hey Germans, we're over here! Come kill us! Leggett? If you had half a dick, you would have hit me by now! Give me a reason. How's that for a fucking reason? Jesus, Leggett! Not right now! This is between me... ...and Alan! Shit! Leg it, Alan! Get the fuck! No! Verdammt, 
see anything. I guess there's a windmill just on the other side of the sand dunes. We know the majority of the Germans are still defending from inside the houses beyond that. You're gonna need to get an OP up there so those bastards will have nowhere to run. Paddock! Can you get me and Holden up there? I can get a piano up there. Call in Artie, then focus your firepower on every last kraut that squeaks out of there. The 5-0 Deuce and the 5 6 are gonna be moving into covering after you. So rendezvous with whoever you can find. Good luck, gentlemen. Yes, sir! We'll set up radio comm! All right, Paddock and Holden are gonna stay behind and set up radio comm. McCreary, Dawson, Cortland, you're with Zanovich. McConnell and Roselli, you're with Campbell. We're all going in together. Which one of you assholes was firing the Artie all over the place? We almost had a building come down on top of us. Got it. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right, they're rallying around a strong 88 position where the road fork's just south of here. I got a column of tanks doing at 0930, but we won't be able to link up with the 506 until after that obstacle is clear. I'm on it. I didn't ask you to... Mac, I said I got it. Of course you do. Take one of the tanks with you at least. And good luck. Cold September, 34,600 soldiers of the Allied forces set foot on Dutch soil to embark on Operation Market Garden and take the war across the Rhine into Germany. On September 27th, the combined assaults of the 506 and the 50 Deuce, which included the 101st Recon squads, were able to drive the German forces from their stronghold in Kovering. It was here that the men of the 101st learned that the British forces at Arnhem could no longer hold their defenses against the might of the German armor. They gave their all for reinforcements that would not arrive. As 30 Corps, ambushed, battered, wounded, and dying, would never reach their destination. Ultimately, the Allies were forced to abandon the goal of securing Arnhem, with the toll having reached over 17,000 Allied casualties in just eight days. But their story was not over. So, no word on Hartsock? No. It's been four days, but I think Holden got word Corian was doing... I'm... He's okay, I think, so that's good. Feels strange to lose, doesn't it? Just a bit. 
30 cord. Just been on time. We'd still be using a foolhardy plan from a foolhardy gen. Montgomery got greedy. What's with you? I told them. About what? Leggett. What he did and what I did. Matt! I told you never to do that. I know. It's just... You should go check on Red. That doc, uh, Gideon wants to talk to you. So, you okay? Matt, the whole time, the whole fucking time you knew exactly what happened Sam. to them? You know what? Don't fucking do that. Don't stoically say my name and act like that. Not now. Matt, we will never fight together again. I've been waiting for you, Sergeant. We need to speak privately. How's Red? That's why we need to speak privately. Now, he doesn't know anything yet. He's mostly been in and out of it for a few days now. Wait, wait, doesn't know what, Doc? Well, he suffered some heavy trauma to his thoracic nerves, mostly lower. That's um, part of his spinal cord. Doc, what are you saying? He's paralyzed. He doesn't know. I, I wanted him to find out from someone he trusted. He asks about you most of the time, when he's conscious. Could get knocked out a bunch while I was gone? No. Who took my place? Paddock for now. <laughs> wow. Paddock. <laughs> Mr. Deathwish. Red. Um, something that we gotta talk about. Is everyone okay? I heard about Friar. But is everyone else okay? Everyone's okay. Did, uh... It's you, Joe. What? God. You're going home. You're going home to Irma and Carol. You're gonna be a dad. You're gonna be a great dad. That building. Uh, when it fell on us. Uh, Matt. You're not gonna walk again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look at me. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing is going to stop me from finding you when this is all over. You're my best friend, Red. Were any of us worth it? <laughs> yes. At least <laughs> you've learned something. Sam, I can't. Now this looks familiar. It would appear we have much more in common than you'd originally thought. Bulletproof Matt Baker, reduced to tears at the loss of a friend. It's not the same. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? It is the same. You stand, knees buckling under the weight of your own guilt. You are history repeating itself. I'm still alive. 
That's more than I can say for you. Are you? There's not much to say about me, Matthew. I was weak and frail and was crushed by a secret you told me to keep. I was protecting you. Is this the same protection you offered Frankie? He trusted in you, Matthew. Much as the others did. But they aren't here either. Exactly how much is your protection worth? Stop. Please. This is not your stop. There's more road ahead. Tell me, Matthew. You've made it through hell. How do you feel about snow? I can handle snow. Where are you going with that bloody gun? I'm surprised a higher power didn't already give you an answer. Well, I think you should slow down. Can't, people to see. All right, everyone, fall in on me. Let's move it. Man, it's been 10 days, and there's not a man among us who didn't give everything he had. Some gave more. We lost Frankie, Friar, and Marsh, and Red. The collapse broke part of his back and paralyzed him. He won't ever walk again. He can talk. And you know what he said? He asked me if any of us were worth it. We've all made mistakes. We've all questioned what we're doing here. And we all feel burdened by the cost of the fight, especially in the face of defeat. But I'm not retreating. I'm standing alongside of all of you. I'm still standing right here. I'll walk us straight into Berlin if it's asked of us, and it probably will be. And I know some of you don't trust me right now. Some of you are clinging to superstition. That ends right now. I know we feel like we need something to blame, but it's just a goddamn gun. So here we are. Brothers, fathers, saints, and sinners. Let's bring this fight back to the Germans. Well, shit. <clears throat> if you're gonna use all them pretty words. I can't. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain? Or his heart? <laughs>